Hey my loves, welcome back to Ravina at Home. It's been a while since I've released a new video and I really missed you all. I've had a busy few weeks entertaining family from overseas and it has inspired me to create a video for you on this topic. Now that our guests have left, I'm taking the opportunity to refresh my entertainment closet and I thought I would share the process with you. The key thing that really works for my family is having our entertainment cabinet in the dining room. I would recommend this to anyone who has the space in their home to keep your serving dishes close to where you entertain. This cabinet is from the Besta series in IKEA and I find it very functional, practical and beautiful. I like the variety of door finishes they have, such as these two glass doors in the middle which I use as a display that I change seasonally. I have also recently replaced one cabinet with a set of drawers, and I'll show you this in more detail. I limit my dishes to this cabinet, which means that if I want to add some new pieces to my collection, I have to make the necessary room for them. I'm also using this opportunity to deep clean the cabinet, so I have removed the dishes and I'm wiping the shelves before putting everything back. As always, I keep the less used dishes higher up and the frequently used ones lower. I have used additional shelf inserts so I can place the dishes individually instead of stacking them high. This keeps the dishes safe from chips and it makes them so much more easily accessible. I have also separated my dishes into white and clear. The clear dishes include both glass and acrylic, which I store together. On this side are the oversized bowls kept out of the way and below that are the serving dishes that we use at almost every meal.
I'm using the lid of an IKEA cookies box as a pull-out tray. I keep all my sauce and condiment bowls on here. These are easier to pull out and get to. When serving, it is very pleasing to have some sort of tablescape. And I decided to include those items into this cabinet instead of having a separate storage area for the props. I'm just spreading out my mats, chargers and napkins on the different shelves. Down here is a new set of dishes I recently got to replace one that I gave away. I honestly love furniture that can easily be adjusted to accommodate new things. I have recently removed one door and replaced it with these drawers. It is great for storing my trays, boards and bread baskets. And in the lower one are all my table linen. I love adding flowers and ferns to my table, so I have moved my frequently used items here. I even have some new ones I recently bought. I like that these add color to the otherwise white on white. The fact that it looks like a store display is just an added bonus. I've also refreshed the glass door cubbies. While everything else is hidden behind closed doors, these are the dishes I choose to highlight. This season, I'm going with a more organic woodsy feel. I have organized the dishes so less used ones are at the end, the clear dishes in the middle and the frequently used ones are exactly where they need to be. I hope this video has inspired you to create a hostessing cabinet of your own or give your current one a declutter and clean. I'm personally thrilled to have everything in one place and I think it looks amazing. Let me know in the comments what you think. And until the next video, this is Ravina saying happy homemaking.